we have quite a bit of news tonight so first off we have the brand new stream that we're going to be getting in literally six hours from now for infinite forbidden it has the voice actors of Solomon muto and shaiman from the Yu-Gi-Oh! dual monsters anime from ancient egypt and modern day then we also have the voice actor of chaz princeton or manjumi so that means we're going to be seeing some support to Chaz and his probable arm dragon deck and all of that. So I cannot wait for that. There will, I'll have a video up on it for sure when I wake up in the morning in about six hours probably. So I can do that then go back to sleep. After that, let's take a look at it. something that they accidentally did on their website. So whenever they have a set coming out, we are... They always have their site posting updates on what cards are in it. And this is where this lovely trap card came from right here in the corner. Now, there's also one for the Lice Duelist Pack page, so let's cover that first. And as we can see, if we go into the Inspect Element area, we have Vrains, GX, and Zexel. So the last missing piece in this set is going to be a GX deck. So we have a few options here. We have Satorius. We also have Chaz. Could possibly be in this with Ojamas or whatever, but I don't think they're, they're going to do double up on it. But I really hope it's going to be Satorius. It could be Alexis with Cyber Angel or Cyber Blader type gimmicks. But overall, I think it's going to be Satorius as our last thing. And I was hoping he was going to get the cover card, but honestly, Having a Baryon number as a cover card sells more, but even though Arcana Force was kind of a whole entire arc with Satorius with the Society of Light. So there's that. And finally, we have a brand new card right here. This lovely trap card. Let me pull up the image real quick. Um, It's super small, but it is called Emperor's keep it's a normal trap card and you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn also if your opponent controls a card you can activate this card from your hand when a card or effect is activated with an effect that adds a card from the deck to the hand negate that effect then if a trap card's in your graveyard destroy that card also if you activated this card from your hand for the rest of the duel you cannot activate cards you cannot activate the effects of cards with the same name as the, that negated card. Which, honestly, is a very good type of card. So, overall, this is kind of like an Ash Blossom and Joy Spring type deal. And I really do like it, in my opinion. Now... In my opinion, is this the right way to do things in Yu-Gi-Oh! Making hand trap trap cards? Yes. And I would like to see more of them, even though we got a new Maxi. So that's going to be wonderful for the format with Infinite Forbidden with two brand new hand traps. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will be back in like seven hours for the stream. But anyways, I will see you all then and goodbye.